What's going on, fellas? Welcome back to the day trading series back on Monday for episode 105. Guys, are you serious? No, are you serious? One case up. Let's get around the clock. Wow, guys, uh, I can't thank you enough, seriously. It's been like a year and a week since I started my channel, already 1K subs, like what? I'm really glad that people are actually enjoying my content. So like I said before, it's a nice feeling, but thank you guys for showing love for real. So definitely, if you guys are new here, hit the sub button, hit the like. Can we get the video to 100 likes? That'd be sick. We could definitely do it. But yeah, guys, this week is going to be absolutely insane. FOMC minutes. I believe we have non-farms on Friday. Jimmy gapping up 14% on a Monday morning. And the setup is fire. Got to take it easy, though. The markets might be a little bit shaky today and tomorrow before FOMC. But without further ado, let's get into the trades, baby. And we are open. Please, Tesla, don't do that right away. <laughs> I was so looking forward to that move. Come on. I mean, it might still set up, but oh, what a bounce. Yikes. All right, this still could be in play. All right, I'm going to get into five GME calls here. ORB up. I got filled at 197, though. If it breaks the lows, I get out. No way this fakes out, right? GME, get on up, dude. If it breaks that low, I got to get out. This is in God's hands now, boys. This is not good. A ton of buying just actually got put in here. Do you guys see that surge in volume? We could actually see something nice. Volume's really picking up here, actually. This is okay. Half the reason why I'm still in this. Here we go. This blue line's a big level here. Jesus Christ, we got it. Oh my God, we caught it. By the grace of God, guys. That's why you have to read volume as well as price. I'm joining the ask on three. I'm not messing around here. What a breakout. I'm selling one more up here. Look at the volume. It's not even... Oh my god. This blue line's big, so if we reject it, that's tough. Let's get another nice move. Here we go. Candle over candle. What a clutch hold, guys. What a clutch hold. Let's hit 33. I'm gonna join the ask. Bro, the ask is jumping like crazy! Are we in a halt? Can I sell market, please? I'm not trying to stay in a halt, bro. F that. I'm surprised it even let me get out. Yeah, look at that. Price action just stalled. Bids at zero, ask at 310. Mother of God. How much do we make on that? Ooh, 148. Not so bad, guys. Great trade to start this Monday morning. Jimmy in a halt. I mean, you could just tell, guys. If you saw the volume, that's like half the reason why I was in that play. Oh my God. I was Tesla coming into that. Man, now Tesla's providing a play. Could actually provide a decent ORB up, you know. I'm in. Taking that play, getting aggressive here. Here we go. Waiting for that ORB up. I want to sell one into that. Uh, these contracts aren't really moving. Are you guys seeing this? Look at the contracts, bro. What the hell are they doing? Dude, the IV's moving up. How are the contracts losing value right now? All right. I'm going to take profit. What is that? It's probably going to go up now, but... And there it goes. If I waited a half a second longer, bro. Only walked away with 36 on that. That's okay, though. Actually, you know what, guys? This is providing a good five-minute play. Because as of right now, we have a candle over a candle. This is the last minute in this five minute. If it can somehow close back under the previous opening candle, we could actually have a nice play in our hands. But as of right now, it's surging up. Oh, well, this is what I meant. Except we're getting it on this candle, which is still fine. Unless it uses it as support. This is uh interesting, to say the least. You guys are getting some good analysis, though. Mm, I'm going to load the puts. Because, I mean, we still need to get, like, a nice trade under pre-market lows. I mean, that's there for, for the taking. Okay, Tesla coming down here. we will like to see it under the one-minute MAs. If we get through it, I might buy here. I'm in. I'm in three. Not taking that much. Nope. Not playing along with that. All right, so we went up 30 on Tesla, now down 30. That's not too bad. All right, guys, I'm probably going to call it here. Market's moving kind of slow. I mean, if I bring you guys to the SPY, very choppy. And plus, I don't really have that much left to trade with in the account. Anyway, I'm just going to call it here. Let's see how much we made. Walked away with a 115. So pretty good start to the Monday. All right, see you guys tomorrow. All right, fellas, Tuesday and also November 1st. And look at this monthly candle on Tesla. Interesting. With a gap above, but opening up at a huge monthly pivot that we've discussed earlier. This is going to be big. Let's go. And we are open and Tesla surging right through, bro. Hits 235 right away. Look at this gap up, guys. Are you kidding me? I'm taking a Tesla call here. Stop out if we get under the MAs. New five minute just opened up. Do we hold the MAs? That was clutch. That was clutch. Tesla had to hold that. We got to close this strong. There's five seconds left in this candle. It's a decent one. We have to go up here. Here we go. 
There it is. Big spike. Guys, this is nerve wracking. Why is Tesla not moving? Close strong, please. Bro, we have to get like a massive surge here. Here we go. Trying to break pivot highs here at 236.50. Five minute just opened up. We could do a three bar play here. This is what I'm looking for. We might get a little bit of drawdown because it's a new five minute. I got to get ready to switch to sell three. A decent volume on the previous candle as well. Just saw that. What do we do here? Big bounce right off the VWAP. Guys, I cannot believe I'm still in this play. This support is absolutely crazy. I mean, guys, it's setting up. You can't deny it. Here we go. Tesla, you got to do this move, bro. Come on. Tesla, please. Break out. Come on. Oh my God, we got it. Selling three up here. Got two left. What do we do? Do we continue the move? Do we get? Do we hit 240? Selling one. It's not really getting any gumption up here. Starting to come back down. We got to get a nice little push. 10 seconds left in this candle. Bollinger's are kind of stuffing us down. Contracts are right at seven. Let's get a little bit of a move higher. I bet we can get something nice. Here we go. Candle over candle. It's coming back down. I'm going to take profit. Oh my God, bro. I mean, obeyed my rules, but guys, I was shaking in my boots that entire time. How much do we make? We better grab the decent profit. $209. And look at it now, bro. I'm going to buy into a few puts here. We're going to see if it wants to break that monthly pivot. Did the ORB down, which is my play. Selling one. Breaks through it. Beautiful. Okay, that's it for me. Made like an extra 30 bucks. Guys, I'm done. I'm done. I mean, that trade was too wild for me. I'm done. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, fellas. Wednesday. Got to be super careful today because we have the Fed, which I won't be able to trade. But anyway, let's focus on the morning session. Annoyingly, AMD is the only setup and it just had earnings. So we'll see. Let's go. And we are open. I want to see how these options are moving. Oh, great. All right. So like it didn't even really stay too far away from yesterday's price action. That's not bad. I mean, it's coming into that level like right away. All right. We're hitting the MAs. We're going to get over it. All right. I'm buying calls here. Looking for ORB up. I don't think this is going to stop. Going to sell three on the ORB break. Just kidding. I'm going to sell three here. Nope. Not taking a loss on the on the last two. Only 26 bucks. That's okay, though. I mean, it had to go right away. All right, guys. Actually, I just saw um, Tesla. Look at this bottom. In there. RB up. Only bought in two, though. Starting to get above the one-minute MAs, which is great. I'll stop out if we get a close under the MAs again. But this looks like a great bottom here. We do have a gap to fill from yesterday. All right, here we go. We're staying above the nine. Trying to get above VWAP. It's tough. Really nice close there. So new five minute just opened. How the market's doing. Trying to move up off of that uh, little trend. You got to close strong here, Tesla. Here it is. It's not going right away. I'm going to sell one up here. Nice. Here we go. ORB incoming. Just at it. Bollinger's actually starting to turn up here. That's pretty good. Oh, don't fall back down. What do you do here? Did you push through or what? It's trying so hard. Today's about base hits, guys. Let's get a little base hit and let's get out of here. Not liking that, though. All right, so we walked away with 34. See, guys, it adds up. Nice $60. We take it. All right, fellas. I think I'm just going to call it here. I mean, no explanation. Look at the spy. We already missed a couple trades here and there. Netflix and uh, AMD. Still nice $60 win. We take it on a Fed day. I'm happy I even found a trade. So be thankful, guys. All right, so I'll see you guys after the Fed pile drives the market one way or another. See you tomorrow. All right, fellas. Back on Thursday. Oh, wait, what? <clears throat> Back on Friday. <laughs> I'm just messing around. Yeah, guys, sorry. No trades yesterday, so we are here on Friday. Unfortunately, something came up, but I didn't find out until Wednesday afternoon, so I couldn't tell you guys about it the day prior. So again, apologies, but these things happen. I'm not even that mad. If I actually look at the charts, I mean, like, I really don't think I missed a whole lot. I did draw a gap fill line today, which Spy did bust through, but we never got it yesterday. I know this week is going to be a short video, but to be quite honest, though, I mean, this week was just data week and earnings digestion. So, I mean, we got a few base hits Monday through Wednesday, missed Thursday, no big deal. And then today we got to take it easy. So I'm... I'm just trying to get a good week so we can move on for the next. But yeah, guys, a few setups. Tesla again at this weekly pivot. If I bring you guys the weekly chart, still trying to create this weekly bear flag thing here. Who knows? But let's see how we do. Let's go. And we are open. So Q's did have a last minute push. My God, through the gap fill. So it's filled now. 
Anyway, patience is going to be key today. Oh, and I completely forgot to mention that we got non-farms. So we did get a little bit of a move. I did see some YouTubers takes on it, but I mean, I have no idea how to construe this data. So we'll see how the market plays out. Big red here. Q's are actually trying to reject that gap fill. Dude, do I want to take this? Damn, I missed it. I literally missed it. Oh my God. Oh, that was clutch too. Tries to close under. All right, guys, I know Friday, I'm so nervous to play the first move. Oh my gosh, we completely fumbled the bag there. Look at this, guys. NVIDIA with the hold. Um, You know, I might just get ready to purchase some puts here. 139. Well, here goes NVIDIA. I mean, like, literally a triple bottom here. Do we break it or not? I'm right, going to in, get into NVIDIA puts here. Looking for it to finally break this little triple bottom action here. Here we go. Finally a break. Going to sell three. Two left. Actually, I'll probably just sell one. Okay, here we go, NVIDIA. Beautiful, beautiful play. I'm going to join the ask on this last one. And out there. Absolutely picture perfect. And we made $161 on that. That felt good. Now the question is, do I take another trade? And that I do not know. Okay, we're going to wait till 10. I know there's a Fed president speaking, so we're going to see if there's anything, if anything pops up after that. But if not, I think I might just call it here, folks. So I guess right now it's between Tesla and Netflix here. New five minutes is just about to open. Okay, we got it. What's this high here? That looks pretty good. If we get a candle under a candle, I might get active here. Well, here comes Netflix. I'm in there at 260. Anticipating that candle under a candle break on the five minute. Here we go. All right, we got it. Thank God, man. I'm going to sell one. Secure some profit. 283 sell. Here we go. Let's get a nice move through the gap fill. Let's go. Absolutely beautiful right now. I'm going to sell one more into an area where there's a lot of open interest. I'll sell 310. Good sell. Let's get a straight down move here. Beautiful. Closes low. Let's get that momentum. Bollinger starting to open up for us. I'm going to sell the last one on the break. Guys, waiting absolutely was a beautiful decision. Here we go. We're so close. Big break here. Come on. So you're going to fake out. I'm going to sell there. Whew. What a play, guys. Absolutely beautiful. Keeping in touch with the five minute. Unreal play. And that's going to be my day done. Let's see how much we made on that. All right. Another hundred bucks there. All right, guys. 10.09. It's late on a Friday. It's time for me to get the hell out of here. I mean, base hits absolutely carried us. And we had a beautiful, beautiful green week. But before I let you guys go, if you guys are new, hit the sub button. Hit the like, drop me a comment. Let me know what you guys thought about specific trades. I always love to chat with you guys in the comments, so leave one. Let me know how you guys did as well. I mean, like I said earlier, this was a tough week. I mean, earnings, digestion, data. But yeah, guys, absolutely beautiful win. And I cannot thank you guys enough for a thousand subs. Let's go. So if we can get this video to 100 likes, that'd be sick. And yeah, hopefully you guys found some value in this video. Gonna be a short video. I mean, it wasn't very long, but some really quality info in here for you guys. So anyway, I will catch you fellas next week. Take it easy.